Hey you guys, what's going on? We're going to be talking about today something that I think everybody has a common link in, whether it been now or even in the past. Getting that white envelope at the end of the month with the television company at the top, opening it, and just being flat out disgusted on how much this is costing. If that is you right now, stick around because I'm going to be going over three simple tips to reduce your television bill going forward. For those that are tuning in for the very first time that don't know me, my name is Tristan Montgomery and I help others maximize their lifestyle through entrepreneurship as well as making sure that they get a better value for the money that they're spending on products and services that we use every single day. So if you're like most people and you want to earn more as well as save more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You will see a small TM at the bottom of this video. Make sure to subscribe because every week we're going to be putting out valuable content, strip uh, tips, strategies on how you can be in a position to not only earn more but save more as well. And as promised, I'm going to get into the three steps right now. Three steps to significantly reducing your television bill. Step one. Finding out what you're actually paying. You will be surprised on how many people are right now paying a bill that they've been paying for years on end and don't even know what the cost is, what the plan is, or even if it still makes sense for them to be in that package. In order for you to save money, you first have to understand your bill and how much you're actually spending and why. I'm telling you, just from looking at your bill, step one, guys, you will start to see that you may be in a package that you don't need to be in. You may be in a package that's cost you a lot more money. You may only watch five channels while you're paying for 200. Look at the bill. Look at what you're actually paying. This think about it for a second, because I think that we get it in. This is humans. You know, we sign up for television one time we it's, it's normal for us to pay the bill every month but something that we don't do is review it you know we don't review what we have we may be paying for a package that makes no sense for us to pay for so simple step step one find out what you're paying find out what plan you're in see if there's a different option see if it even makes sense for you to still be in the plan that you're paying. So that's step one. Find out what you're in. You can't change something unless you know where you're at right now. It's hard to change and reduce bills and reduce costs if you don't even know what you're in or don't understand why you're paying it. You may notice or you may see an opportunity for you to save money instantly just by going to a different plan. So step one, guys, again, check the plan that you are currently in and make sure it's still the best plan. You can do that by yourself. Most companies will have a customer service line. You can talk to them on the phone. See what's out there. It's worth a phone call if it can save you $10, $20 a month. The $20, $10, $20 a month, guys, that's $120 a year or $240 a year. That can make a huge difference in your budget. You can put that towards a variety of different things. But let's go on to step two. Step two, guys, call the service provider that you use. Find out if they have any promotions going on right now. A lot of times when we signed up for these television services, we may have initially signed up in a promotion that may have gotten us into a contract or, you know, that may have expired. So you, you may start off paying, you know, $50 a month for the first year. And then after that, all of a sudden you're paying 150 or 160 guys. And what I'm talking about right now is something that I'm talking about from experience, guys. I used to be with a satellite company and I remember paying that 130, 140, $150 a month just for a basic package. Like one thing about me, I don't watch TV all that much, but the the basic package we had still was a 120, 130, 140. But one thing I would say, if you are with the company that you're comfortable with, and honestly you don't see yourself going anywhere. 
make sure to give a phone call to them and see if they have any current promotions going on right now. The reason why I say you want to make sure it's with a company that you're comfortable with and you plan on being with for a while because they may, may require you to do a contract to get the promotional rate. That's not some at normal, but the reality is, is that promotional rate can be pretty significant. So make sure to give a phone call. So again, step one, check what you have, see if that still makes sense for you to do. Step two, make sure to call the company, see if they have any promotions or something you can enroll in to get a significant discount. Step three, and I think this is the most critical because this gets into where my recommendation come in. There is a shift happening in the television industry, guys. You may have noticed it. You may have not noticed it. There is a shift happening in television, guys. It's called IPTV, IP Internet Protocol Television. It's the same thing that happened with telephones about, I don't know, about 10 years ago. You used to have to have, you know, uh, 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 um, a plug in the wall to have a telephone service. And then companies like Vonage came out, you know, that, uh, uh, all these different companies. There was a lot of companies that came out for digital phone service. And you will see a lot of cable providers still having that actual technology. Now that is happening to TV, you see so many different companies popping up right now for IPTV. Couple of reasons why it's so attractive. The first thing is it reduces your bill significantly. I mean, guys, we're talking about cutting your bill in half and still being able to do, you know, live TV, still being able to see the sports channels and things like that. The personal story about me is that I cut the cord, um, you know, my satellite a couple of years back. So I had always been using like, um, I don't know, like the services we all know, you know, uh, your different TV services, streaming services, not going to know any names. We all know who they are, you know, blank, blank and chill, or you got the one for the TV shows. That's what I have been using for oh, really a couple of years now. But one of the biggest things that um, I didn't like about it is that it wasn't live. Everything that I was seeing was a day late. And there's some things you got to see live, guys. Let's just be honest. You got award shows. You got, for me, sports, big, I'm a huge Michigan State fan. So, I need to see that live, you know what I mean? So it's still some things we want to make sure to see live. So when this whole wave of technology with IPTV came out, this was a game changer, guys, because you can be in a position to still to get live TV, no credit checks, no deposits, no contracts, and paying a fraction of what you've been able to pay. Now, there's a lot of companies out there that's popping up and getting into this space. My personal recommendation, the one that I personally use, not only can you see it on up to five devices, so you mean you're bit, you can be able to see it on your cell phone, tablet, uh, internet, you know, your computer. You can see it on your actual um, TV through like a um, Roku or we, they, the service I actually recommend has their own box, which is significantly cheaper. But you have access to DVR, you have access to local channels, and all this stuff is live, guys. And we're talking about basic and premium packages for a fraction of the cost. IPTV, make sure to take a look at that option because you can be like a lot of us, not only being able to watch TV wherever we want to, I may be on a way, you know, on a way to another state traveling, and that may be a game on. I can just go right into my, uh, you know, in my television app and watch it live right then and there. You know, we may be in the car or something. It's so much flexibility. What IPTV is ridiculous, guys. But if you want to know my personal recommendation for what I believe to be the best IPTV service on the market right now, not only because of the features, the DVR, the, you know, the premium packages, the movie packages, but not only this, they are the only company in the space right now that through a simple referral program gives people the opportunity to never have to pay a TV bill ever again. I'm going to make sure I repeat that. The service that I personally recommend not only does it have all the bells and whistles of the top tier IPTV service, but it also puts people in a position that through simple referral service, you can be like many people across the nation that's never happen to pay for live TV ever again. So if you want to find out my recommendation for this week, make sure to go to TristanMontgomeryOnline.com forward slash 
RECO1. Again, that's TristanMontgomeryOnline.com forward slash RECO1. 